Welcome to Game Week 5 Part 2. Six more huge fixtures in this one for you guys. Starting with Armageddon is coming. My team, boom, versus Silent Whip. We've got Team Rodriguez versus Reapers of Blood. Cactus Chaos versus the unbeaten Metaslayers. Protect the President, who so nearly defeated the Metaslayers last round, versus unbeaten Toasters. Ronaldo Rax Fan Club versus Big Guns and Insect. And Protect the Strongest versus Quick Slashes. Let's get straight into the action. First up tonight we have my team Armageddon is coming versus Silent Whip. My team Armageddon is coming have won two and lost two. I've got six points. Silent Whip have won one and lost three and I've got three points. Who's going to win this one? Can I get back to winning ways this week? I was doing alright but it's gone a bit downhill last week. Can I get back in this one? This, this is the question. He's got two Rockies which scared me a little bit. His Rockies have killed off most of his units though so far. All he's got left is... Oh! This Gorehammer's beating my guy, my um, T-Rex up a little bit. Wow! He's put him down a bit rapidly. The Rockies worry me. The Rockies worry me. If I can get the Rockies down, I'm thin I'm going to get this one. But the Rockies are doing some bad work. Commando Bo, take the Rocky out. ASAP, please. Shoot the Rocky, dude. Shoot the Rocky. Oh, he's gone. Right. Who's left? Who's left? Oh, God. I've got a Gorehammer and a Hydra. This is not good. This is not good. I'm not fancying my chance of winning this one. Oh, no. Oh no, I've got some Gorehammer left. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. Oh man, it gets worse and worse. I've lost. <gasps> First round to Silent Whip. Come on, guys. Not another loss. Please no. Please no. Round number two. Anyway, back in this one for my guys. I need to kill the Rockies off pretty much immediately. If the Rockies go, I have some hope. Ah, oh, this Coward Cold. I seem to have so far faced most of the teams who've got defensive lines at the front. Not everyone's got this, but I seem to have faced every team that's got it, which is a bit of a killer. Come on, Gorehammer. Go, 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 put him down. Come on, he's down right. Come on, guys. Come on. We need to win this one, dudes. We need to win this one. Come on. We need to win this one, guys. Everyone's on the Goro. Come on. This is looking more promising. Oh, that's much better. Domination that round. Where, where was that first round, guys? Look at that. We've got loads of people surviving. This one goes for a decider. Come on, Armageddon is coming. Let's have a victory. Right, who knows <laughs> which way this one's going to go. It all depends on the Rockies and what my guys do with them, really, again, I think. All dependent on that happening. I need these Rockies gone quickly. The Rockies blowing himself up. What's he doing? The Rockies just taking himself out. Right, come on. Let's get some of the Rocky down, boys. I'm entirely biased in this. Where's this Rocky fire? He's fired over there. Oh, he's fired a wild boar or something. It's a big old bundle of people now. Rocky's hit his Hydra. Rocky has surely put his Hydra down there. Guys, shoot this blinking Rocky. Hey, go on, Spino. Yes. Go on, Spino. We might have a win there, boys. We might have a win. Yes. I'm playing it cool. I'm playing it cool. But uh, this one finishes. Um, Armageddon is coming too. Silent Whip 1. Boom! Second up, we have Team Rodriguez versus Reapers of Blood. Team Rodriguez currently four losses out of four. Also haven't won a round yet. Not looking great for them. Reapers of Blood currently having won three, lost one. This is probably looking good for them so far, unless Team Rodriguez can pull off a real shocker. Can Team Rodriguez get the first round on the board? I'll be honest, Reapers of Blood, probably a bit strong for them here, but you never know. We've seen some kind of shocks. I think with this few units in, the, in a team, though, it does seem that the, the, the teams with small units, or small numbers of units, and I should say, tend to get a bit of a pasting. Especially when you've got long-range units here, just having a free reign. The, the commander both are just going to kind of, like, just wrapping up, really, to be fair, that's to be honest. They've got free reign and just shooting from the back here. Oh, that's the same as your spider's going to die, surely. Yeah, some major fall damage there. Brachiosaurus is actually doing a good old, good old job here, though. Brachiosaurus is going, ah, was, I think that we, we saw that one coming. We saw that one coming there. First round goes to Reapers of Blood. Round number two. Surely this is going to be a straightforward win for Reapers of Blood. I can't see any other outcome here. I'd love to be proved wrong just, just, for, the, just for the surprise element and to see a deciding round come into it, but didn't really want to decide around in my, in my battle before this one, but you know, I like to keep it dramatic, guys, right? That's all it was. It was playing, playing for the cameras, playing for the drama of a, in the video, right? That's all my team left, lost the first one for. I told them to throw it to uh, keep it interesting, all right? All right? Anyway, this one again... Got some commander bows. Look, he's, he's gonna sit down over it. Look, he's gonna sit down. Having a sit down, chilling while all the action goes on, all the action unfolds. What a camera view this is. Oh, oh, this might be a screenshot for the older, for the older <laughs> thumbnail for this video from that angle. Oh, that was beautiful. We know that one's gonna finish. Comfortable victory there. This one finishes Team Rodriguez nil, Reapers of Blood two. Third tonight with Cactus Chaos versus the Meta Slayers. Cactus Chaos currently was one win from four games on three points. Meta Slayers. Four wins out of four, only the one round loss so far to one of their rivals at the top on 12 points. How's this one going to turn out? We've got Cactus Chaos on the left-hand side. We've got Meta Slayers on the right. Ooh, a couple of the um, explosive wild balls there going toe-to-toe. Going, going, going -to -to -toe. Both exploding each other off the map. Let's see how effective these Rockies can be. This Rocky can be at the back. And honestly, Cactus Chaos, it's all like this Rocky can do at the back, I think. He needs to take a lot of their units early on. 
We know Meta Slayers are just ridiculous. They've got so much firepower, so much long range, so much long range, range weaponry. And look at already, look at the amount of them moving in here. We've already, really got, we've already got the Rocky, only the Rocky left. The Rocky, oh, and here come the Velociraptors. And this is over, this is over shortly. He's going to blow himself up maybe. Oh, Velociraptors have finished him off. Jeez. And can I just, again, just say the amount of people they've got left. Meta Slayers, Silent Assassins, Goons, Toasters. Could be one of those three wins overall, isn't it? The first round goes to Meta Slayers. Dominance again from them. Round number two, Meta Slayers. Your only task is whether you can win this one quicker than you won the first one, I think, because that was that was unbelievably dominant again. Unbelievably dominant. Oh, the Rocky's taking the Wyvern out of the air. Great shot, Rocky. Both both missiles taking him out, and now he's going to be targeting in on the on the pack in the middle. Problem is though, this Rocky's just taken out. Is I think he had a Hydra. Did this guy have a Hydra? I think he had a Hydra. He's dead now, and again, we've already got just just this guy left. He takes a Goro out quickly. Where's he shooting? Oh, he shot someone who's already dead. What are you doing, dude? He's just fired at someone who's already dead. What an idiot. This one finishes uh, a very dominant Cactus uh, Cactus Chaos nil. The Meta Slayers 2. Matchup number 4, the big one of part 2 of the video. We've got Protect the President versus Toasters. Protect the President on 3 wins out of 4. We nearly beat the Meta Slayers in the last round. Took them to a deciding uh, deciding round. And we've got Toasters who are still 4 wins out of 4 having lost just one round. I think Protect the President probably have to win this one to give themselves a chance to the finishing to, of winning the title. Toasters likewise want to see us one out. We've got Protect the President on the left. Toasters on the right. This is another one of the huge top of the table battles. Neither team are going to want to lose this one. Goro has just launched the Teutonic Knight I think. Oh, we've got a Stegosaurus, oh, blimey, thrown across the map. He's got us at the moment. Oh, we've got Hasadan over here. Oh, the horse is still up. We've got Commando Bows. That's at the moment. It looks like this Protect the President. I don't know, actually. Maybe not, actually. I thought he did. I can't. It's hard to tell. Goro's still alive. Well, Goro's still alive. They've got a chance. I tell you what. This looks like Protect the President are going to win this one. I think they're going to win it. I think they're going to win it. Goro's launched him. It is. Protect the President. Win the first round. Toasters. Will they now lose? Will they now lose their first match? They've got to win these next two rounds. Round number two. So anyway, back into this one for Toasters. Or can Protect the President. They've got to have a couple of tough fixtures. Have to have the Meta Slayers followed by Toasters. And, but I think it's back-to-back -back weeks anyway. Tough. A tough set of fixtures. And a tough little uh, yeah, run of games for them. But you never know. They could turn it around here. I think I still think they've got a very good chance of winning this. They just need a Meta Slayers to lose to somebody, anybody, and they've got a chance still. Because I think they're a very, very strong unit, a very strong team. Meta Slayers still have got by Skeps Goons and Silent Assassins, though, so anything can happen there. I think those those games are going to be key as to who wins this one. Again, it looks like there's an absolute domination here from um, Protect the Present. They look, they're absolutely bossing this one. Toasters have been given an absolute pasting here. Wow. So Toasters' unbeaten record is now gone. Protect the President are back in the wins. This one finishes Protect the President 2, Toasters nil. Fifth up tonight, we've got Ronaldo Rex Fan Club versus Big Guns and Insect. Ronaldo Rex Fan Club, one win out of four games. They're on three points. Big Guns and Insect, just below them. Uh, also on one, one win and three losses of four games. Also on three points. Whoever wins this one will get onto six points and move near a mid-table. Who's going to win this one? We've got Ronaldo Rex Fan Club on the left-hand side here. We've got Big Guns and Insect on the right-hand side here got a rocky but is a rocky gonna be a help or a hindrance because he's literally just plowing plowing rockets into the middle of that middle of that pack there of, of um of units of the bigger units it does look to me like the ronaldo Clan club i've got the i've got the um advantage here for sure brachiosaurus dies they've got the advantage big time the brachiosaurus is dead don't think the gore hammer's gonna take this lot down this rocky hits hits his target here he's gone boom he is gone hat's gone he's gone he's gone for a little ride in the back of a an allosaurus he's putting a second one in to make sure this first round goes to Ronaldo Rex Fan Club. Round number two. Anyway, back in this one for Big Guns and Insects. Or will Ronaldo Rex Fan Club get their first little 2 0 win on the board and take this one? Oh, oh, the Rockies do worry me. This is why I didn't go for one. Although they're clearly, clearly they're, they're proving very good for a lot of you guys. But it worries me. They just plow rockets. Just plow the rockets into the middle of the pack of units. Is he dead? He's gone. I don't know where he's gone, but someone's got him. Now this one might even up a little bit without the Rocky there. This this might even the playing field. Project I do quite like the projectiles though. I think they're quite decent little units. They aren't bad. Oh, is there Goro the only one left? I thought they might be better without a Rocky in there, but apparently not. The Goro's got to defeat a, a large chunk of tea. Oh, they haven't, but Brachiosaurus is still alive. I take it back. Ah, oh, so is the Hydra though down here. That's a problem. Oh, Brachiosaurus. No, he's going for an attack. Brachiosaurus can take down the Hydra. The Hydra looks like his, 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 side, arm, his side heads are down. If he can take the Hydra down, this is not over. He's taking him down. If he can, can he can he get their Brachiosaurus? He's putting. Oh, he tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it didn't really matter. 
because this one finishes Ronaldo Rex 2, Big Guns and Insect nil. The last matchup tonight, we've got Protect the Strongest versus Quick Slashes. Protect the Strongest currently with one win from four games. Quick Slashes with a one win from four games. But they've got three Allosauruses with their big old boosts in the recent weeks, which may well be the difference in this one. We shall soon find out. We've got Protect the Strongest on the left here, Quick Slashes on the right. Who is going to win the final, the final match up of uh, game week five? That is the question, guys. A lot of poison on this Wyvern. This Wyvern's gone. Poisoned by the uh, Saber Two Spies by the look of it. Some grim, grim looking wings for him. Both these guys are going to want to be under six points and moving away from the bottom of the table. Six points will get you somewhere in the region of about 12th and 15th right now. Somewhere up there, depending on, your, on how many you've won against how many you've lost. This one looks like it's going away. Quick slashes right now to me. It looks like there's a lot more. It looks like there's a lot more of his units alive than there are uh, protect the strongest at the moment. It looks like quick slashes are moving in for the kill here, boys. It looks like it's, 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 it's imminent. It is imminent. So we've got Wyvern. All they've got left, unless he can, unless Wyvern can chase these guys off the edge of the map, the entire team. I think this one's going to be over very soon. The Wyvern's doing his best, but the Wyvern's got no chance. Oh, did the, did the same as his body just dive in the air and get him out of the air? That was a decent little move. First match, well, first round, sorry, goes to Quick Slashes. Pretty dominant first round there for the Quick Slasher team. Feels like this has got this has got another um, air of inevitability about it, but they're not going to probably turn it around here. Poor old Protect the Strongest. You never know. Weirder things have happened. Oh my god, that, that, that saltwater crocodile has been absolutely launched. Jeez. He has seen air like never before there. Archie, Archie, back here. Pinging some arrows in. They're moving in again. Oh, don't know what happened to the power of Sauron office there. Just randomly decided to do a backflip or something. I don't know what it was about. It does look like they're moving in again. The Brachiosaurus is still alive, but there's not a lot left with him. Everyone's on the Brachio. Poor old Brachiosaurus has got a lot to take down. He's doing his best to be fair to him. God, he has got a lot to deal with here. I think his, I think his fight is over. His race is run. Parathosaurus is literally running off the map right now. Oh, there's a Coward Cole still alive. His body's been launched. The Coward Cole's surely dead by now. Yeah, there we go. And this one finishes Protect the Strongest nil, Quick Slashes 2. So that wraps up week 5. Guys, we've got Silent Assassins, the Slayers, and Skepskoon. Still the only three teams now to be unbeaten at the top. Don't think we can really protect the president yet, though, having narrowly lost to Slayers and beating Toasters 2-0 this week. I think they're very much still in the title hunt. The bottom of the league, we've got the two teams, Audi Dimeni team and Team Rodriguez, with no wins and no rounds or anything yet. Your time will come, guys. Your time will come. Don't forget, guys, if you're enjoying this series, please do smash subscribe and also hit like for me and let me know in the comments what you think and who you think is going to win the league, guys. And until next time, thanks ever so much for watching. Cheers all. Bye.